Change isn't easy. Every day brings new opportunities. Growth is a process. These bits of wisdom come with time, but for young people, the struggle to learn these life lessons can be challenging. Our next guest is here to tell us about an organization that helps young people in their mental wellness journeys. Let's welcome Clara Brown of the Growth Center Incorporated. Hello, Clara. Hi, how are you this morning? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Very Super excited. I, well, we're excited to have you on. <laughs> so, Clara, can you start by telling us about your professional background? background and the work you do. Okay, so um, I started my background as a prevention specialist in my uh, late teens. I'm going into K-12 schools, actually helping young people learn life skills. Yeah. And so from there, um, I got a degree in counseling. Mm -hmm. And so I've been a counselor for over 22 years now in the school system uh, and a mental wellness coach. And I also provide um, youth mental health first aid Cool. Um, instruction to those who want to be certified in youth mental health per se. Oh wow, so what inspired you to establish the Growth Center? So the Growth Center was inspired by a couple of things. One, living in a home with a mom who lived in silence for many, many years. Mm -hmm. um, when I received my degree, my mother was going through a manic episode and so with that, um, that was a big piece of why I do what I do. But the other piece is working in the school system and in higher ed, um, what we learned is that um, the mental health crisis that we had going on 20 years didn't dissipate, um, it just continued to grow. And after COVID, it became even more alarming. Yeah. Way more children dealing with anxiety and depression and um, becoming suicidal because of that. And you have an event that's coming up that talks about the youth and mental health. So tell <clears throat> us about it. So we have a youth mental wellness retreat that's coming up. Um, it will be in Folsom, California. Um, that event is to help our young people to learn coping skills. So mm -hmm. that's exactly what we do. We teach them life skills, how to deal with those overwhelming situations so mm -hmm. that they're not connecting to the wrong uh, coping mechanisms like drugs um, and, and alcohol. And so we're giving them those skills that they need mm -hmm. um, that are lifelong skills that they can take with them um, into their adult. And why is it so important that we teach children about deal about confronting their mental health and if they're not doing okay why they need to talk about it and use these certain coping skills why is it important to start that early on oh it's so important for them to start it early on because if they have those skills then they don't fall prey to situations unhealthy relationships um, drugs alcohol and it helps them to not fall into a space where they're where they are developing mental health mm -hmm. challenges yeah, I mean, and it's something we're working on as adults. So if we can start young, yes. I think it's just a win-win situation. So yes. give us the when and where of the event and what teens and their parents should expect. Okay, so we're teaching them self-care. Self-care, obviously, is the main thing. Um, it is in Folsom at Impact Nutrition, 24988 uh, Blue Ravine Road, <laughs> Suite 102. And it is nestled in between a park and Folsom Lake. And we use oh, wow. all three of those to host this event. Um, our young people will be engaging in um, speaking confidently within themselves, learning how to speak, so how to build their self-esteem. Mm -hmm. um, they learn yoga. All the kids get yoga mats. Um, we do gratitude channeling uh, along with art and several other self-care strategies. Oh my gosh, this so is much. amazing. <laughs> I'm like yoga, gratitude journaling. I think these are really important things to take on, again, even as adults. So the fact that kids are experiencing this yeah. is really key. What ages are served in this retreat and is it free? So it is absolutely free. Thank, to our, thank you to our oh. sponsors. Like um, we have Kiwanis of Folsom Lake, uh, Women of Color on the Move, which is a huge sponsor of ours, mm. as well as the Tree of Life, which that's one of my business partners and they work really closely with us. Um, so <laughs> with our sponsors. Yes, a lot of sponsors. And so it's, um, and that's why it was able to be a free event. Yes, that is yeah. why it was able to be a free event. Mm -hmm. That's how we are able to create this opportunity for our youth. So yeah. if we do have people who want to donate, they go to our website, they definitely can still donate. Okay, perfect. And then what should parents, teachers, um, and other concerned adults know about the state of um, youth and mental health today? Oh, that's a great question because right now our youth are struggling and sometimes in school, yeah. it looks like behavior issues. At home, it looks like behavior issues when sometimes it's that they just don't know how to communicate what they're feeling on the inside yeah. and when they get so overwhelmed it feels like like an adult when we think about stress our young people feel the same way mm -hmm. and when they don't have the tools to help manage that right then it shows up as behavior for our young people and for our, our youth that are middle and high school ages it may show up as 
them not listening to mom or they're right. not listening in class or not doing well in class. So. Right. so all the more reason to teach them young, come out to this event. Clara, thank you so much for telling us about it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having me. Of course. And to find out more, you can visit the growthcenter916.com.